Um, hello, thank you for turning in today. I make a lot of videos, and if you guys are following me, um, the video that's coming soon would be the workout um, video part three, where I'm going to show you guys how you're supposed to work out to succeed in the military. So if you're tuning in for that, just wait a little bit, and that will come out soon. But this video is more about education and colleges and um, pro prospect after college. And it um, had come to my attention after, you know, being, uh, myself opening up to coaching students and kids and into advising them how to get into college, um, how to pursue their dreams, how to pursue their degree, how to pursue their jobs that the job perspective right now is extremely horrible and the way things work in the um, job environment and what they're looking for is completely different than 10 years ago and especially 20 years 30 years ago um so at at the moment the way the the job market works is they value education less than they would value experience and that's not really um, what had happened in the past in the in the past um, if you get a college degree it is almost a golden ticket and it is pretty much a golden ticket for you to get any type of good job in the work environment but now there is so many students that is graduating from colleges from really really good colleges even ivy league colleges and they can't find a job and it's become a kind of a meme um online about that and it is quite sad um and it 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 used to be in 2012 is when it really really turned for before before 2012 if you get any job or any degree in from college you are guaranteed a good paying job somewhere um and after 2012, um, around that time, it's kind of shift towards a, um, you have to have a STEM degree, right? And a really, really good um, business degree or something like that from a top school. And you will be able to get a good job if, and if you get like a useless degree, like such, such, such like maybe some artsy degrees or gender studies or something like that, you, you life is going to be pretty hard for you to find a job and you're going to have all these college debt that you can't pay off. Now we get to 2024 and the job is completely different. Even if you get really, really good degrees such as STEM, like engineering degree, physics, science degree, biology degree, you are not guaranteed a job like you used to be able to, to be guaranteed that type of job. And it is a very grim perspective for a lot of um students going through college a lot of people want experience and you go into this dilemma where how are you going to get experience if no one's going to hire you for you to get experience and it becomes a catch-22 right and um you know back in the day the college education used to be considered experience it's not anymore and um it became very apparently clear um the past few months that i've been um, advising and um, coaching young students into going to college and doing all these research for them and it is um, it is very grim especially if you're just going to start with a bachelor's degree um, so it doesn't mean I am against getting a college education I'm not but um, a bachelor's degree doesn't carry as much weight as it used to be a master's degree is almost now the minimum where a bachelor's degree would be a minimum and a lot of jobs today that does not require a college degree in the past now require a college degree um, to do the exact same job because um, and it's there's a lot of different reasons for that I think one of the thing is the saturation of how so many people having a college degree that is not as valuable as it used to be so um, and I was talking about this with um, law firms and you know like law firms if you have a bachelor degree in paralegal right which is what i'm heading towards in my career field in this in this time and age in the air force i'm going into paralegal and i'll make some videos in regards to that afsc that jobs in the air force in a later video but i was talking to a, a bunch of law firms and they they express that they value education less 
now. Um, that if you have a college degree, that doesn't really mean that you're going to be guaranteed a paralegal job like it used to be. But now they really, really care more about experience, right? So if you have um, a good amount of experience with with law and whatnot, it's a lot easier for you to get a job as a paralegal. And it and law used to be one of these jobs where you are protected. It's one of like like one of these STEM degrees where it's protected if you get this job. Uh, this this type of degree, you're gonna get a job. It's not true anymore, um, and the same for nursing too. Like nursing, it's still fairly easy for you to get a job with a degree, but they also value edu um, experience more than education now. So a lot of um, the entire country of the United States has is been shifting towards education to experience, right? So now it's more important for you to get experience and ex education, and it comes to the very same point that I've been making that it's really hard for you to get experience if no one's gonna hire you right and um, and you can go into you know like um, get experience leading as a manager in McDonald's or something because that's the only job you can get or you can get experience in certain things and it doesn't count toward that experience because they want experience in that specific field now and it becomes to a point where you know like you they need people you have to work like almost five years in that field that you are applying to um, and it has to be direct, it can't be like adjacent or very, even similar, it has to be exactly the same position for them to even look. And it's funny because um, a lot of these companies are complaining that they can't hire enough people. Um, kids today don't want to work, this generation doesn't want to work. And that's not true because we ha we're in this kind of phase where employers have too high of a standards for entry-level jobs that no one can meet and then they complain that no one can, uh, that no one can meet these standards and no one is applying to these stand with that kind of standards with that kind of credentials and it's a catch 22 in this kind of age um, economy is extremely bad and of course it is um, part of to blame the economy because um, wages are getting through the roof that what they want to hire you for profit margins are low um, and so in, in order to justify hiring you in that position now they require you to have a lot more credentials right to justify that minimum wages through the roof especially in California wages also is through the roof because if minimum wage go up other people jobs um, income will also have to go up too because you know you, you're not going to have people who went through four years of education and they're going to make the same amount as someone who's making minimum wage so we're in this type of um, loop that is very 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 difficult and it is very grim for a lot of young people coming out of colleges um, today so it's almost that they have to go to, to get a master's degree and even that's not enough because they value experience more over education. Um, you, some people need to even go get a PhD and even that, a doctorate level degree. Um, they still need um, experience over education, right? Um, and you, you have like degrees such as psychology that people with a doctorate can't find a job, right? A master or doctorate can't find a job. and um, um, as today, if you want to get a, ma a degree in psychology, it's to stay away from that um, unless you're already in the field and you have very relevant experience to it. Um, it is almost like a, a no-no, right? Um, and this is, this is one of those things. Um, engineers, engineering, physics, biology, these, these jobs are was bulletproof. It's not bulletproof anymore. A lot of people in these fields can't find a job. Um, math uh, major can't find a job. Accounting major can't find a job. Um, you have, you have, um, you know, like all, all these different things. Um, uh, things that are still safe would be medical field, and you have to pick the right medical degree to get into. So like MDDO is still um, really, really good. Um, but you know, like nursing is still good. But if you're getting a degree in public health. It might be a little difficult for you to get a job right now um, and it is one of those things where we're in this this time where it is very very hard for everyone um, right now uh, but if if you are 
working like if you're a millennial and you you work you were able to get a job in 2012 you were able to get a job and you you have a lot of experience um at the minimum two years um preferably now they they, they raise it up to four to five years if you have that experience it is so easy for you to find a job. You can go, companies are fighting over you because you have that experience. You can get a job at Google. You know, they, even if you go, go to a community college, you can get a job at Google if you have that experience. It is, it is quite, quite, um, quite a different world we're living in today. Um, so, so that's just something that I want to make this video on. Um, I feel bad for people graduating today. I feel bad for people who don't have a perspective. This is why, um, Right now, it's a really good time to join the military. You can get um, a lot of experience through the military. And rec the recruit is actually low in the military. They can't get enough people to join. So if you are interested in joining the military, this is the only um, avenue you can, the only time, the best time for you to join. And you can gain the relevant experience if you have a degree already. You can become a commission officer if you're getting a degree. Be, go into ROTC, your job perspective will be a lot better. Um, as an officer, you have to work for three years, you know, so you will, you'll, you'll come out with three years of relevant experience um, related to your degree, right, that you, you could use for whatever you need it when you come out. But, you know, if you're just coming out and you just want to find a job at a company, it is so hard. People are getting laid off left and right. Just because you get a job does not mean it's safe. Um, especially if you were a new hire, right? A lot of people are getting let go um, after a year, um, and they and they need two years of experience for a lot of companies. So you know that year of experience is not enough. Um, so that that's something that is really really scary today. Um, I think uh, maybe um, the economy will improve a little bit in the future, but right now it's grim. It's been it's been going toward this track where people who are moving away from valuing education and your college degree that you hang on the wall and more about your experience now. Um, it is easier for you to get a, um, a technical job, blue collar job now than it was before. Um, before, like if you, you're a blue collar um, worker, it, the job was very competitive because not a lot of people go to college. Now everyone goes to college and it devalued the college degree, right? So now it's very important like more than ever before to pick the correct degree and even that you know you you'll have to commit to a graduate level degree um and i think part of it is um making these degrees more accessible to everyone um, a lot of schools are dropping gre um, um they're dropping standardized tests for you to get in and it's making these colleges more accessible so now everyone has a degree and when everyone has a degree, it doesn't mean anything anymore, because it, it's not it's not any more valuable than it used to be now. It's it, you know, and it's 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 actually way worse. The value of degrees are not there. Um, just because the value of degree is not there, the college tuition is still through the roof. Um, it's actually higher than it ever been, and now more than ever, a lot of people come out of college feeling um, disenfranchised that that college degree is a scam. And I understand where they're coming from. So um, that's something we need to really address as society. But, you know, one person can't really address it. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's that's kind of my thoughts. That's kind of what's scary. Um, I'm not going to, tr I'm, I'm trying to make this video not too long. It's already 14 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. If you guys have any more comment, I mean, I might make a part two to this video. Um, if you guys agree with me, if you guys disagree, comment below. Um, how was your experience? You know, if you're graduating now, you know, what is your experience today, right? Um, and um, what is it like, you know, be fly, fly, looking for our jobs today? And um, I, I'll, I'll leave on this note, right? Like I, I talk to a lot of people who are going through job search and they are applying to thousands of, of jobs you know, like in their in their searching for for work, and they just cannot get an interview. And even if they get interviewed, they keep getting denied. And then they see the same job being posted like two months later, right? And it's it's very confusing, right? And um, yeah, we're, we're in a bad situation right now for sure. All right, guys, um, I'm leaving 
you guys with this thought and um yeah c comment below um send it to anyone who relates um I, I i welcome discord in the comment below and i'll open it up and um yeah if you guys want any kind of advising to career to to colleges i have advised a lot of family already i advise another person who just got into the osc rotc program congratulations um i'm advising a few other people when switching their career field in the military so i have a lot of knowledge in that and I, i'm opening myself up for that counseling advice if you are interested put it into the comment and i will reach out to you all right thank you have a good one god bless bye, -bye.